welcome to virtual science teacher today's topic is about the commutation relation of some physical quantity so what is commutation relation this is actually fundamental relation in quantum mechanics and this relates some physical parameters now let's check what happens so first we want to find out the commutation relation of x and px that means position and linear momentum operator along x axis so actually uh, from operator algebra what we have found that if a is a operator and it operates on wave function psi and produce some eigen value remaining unchanged in the wave function so our main job is to find the eigen value here actually x is an operator angular moment linear momentum p x is an operator so x p x that is nothing but x p x minus sorry p x x this is this must be an operator so these operators will operate on a wave function and will produce an eigen value and the eigen value is our main interest so let's see what happens we have shown earlier that linear momentum operator along x axis that is px equals to minus i h cut del del x where i is the square root of minus 1 now we have chosen an arbitrary wave function that is psi psi equals to psi x that is this is dependent on x only and i am writing down this equation so x p x on psi x will give us x p x minus p x x psi x i am now putting the value of p x that means minus i h cut del x and both side there are minus i h cut and so i can uh, do minus i h cut at outside of the bracket this will gives us at x px we have taken minus i h cut at outside so remaining part is del del x del del x of psi x minus px means del del x into x psi x because i have multiplied psi in this equation so this will gives us minus i h cut x del psi del x minus this is mm, a function multiplied by 2 x and psi x and we have to uh, differentiate both that means first del del x psi will be remaining minus x comes out and this first and third term will be cancelled out and del, del del x of x equals to 1 so this will give us i h cut psi because minus minus will be plus so what happens x p x of psi gives us i h cut psi this will clearly shows that x p x equals to i h cut ok so what we have observed that if um, position and linear momentum operator having same component contributes and commutes each other then it will provides i h cut that means we can say that x and p x does not commute each other but the value of commutation of x p x leads us a value this is i h cut ok so next next is what happens if we want to try uh, to find out the commutation relation of x and p y that is p y is the linear momentum operator along y axis so let us check
I am doing this uh, commutation um, similarly to the uh, before I have already shown. So what happens? Actually, I have taken wave function as psi x and p y equals to minus i h cut del del y. I am now putting this. That means x p y of psi x equals to minus i h cut x del del y of psi x minus del del y of x psi x ok. Now interesting case yes. del del psi x is a function of x only. So, if I want to perform the partial differential equation of psi x with respect to y, this will give us 0 and del x del y will also 0. So, what happens? This will give us, I am writing this again, x del psi del y minus del x del y minus x del psi del y equals to 0. If psi is a function of other, suppose psi is a function of y, then then del psi del y have some finite value and in that similar case, first term and third term will be cancelled out. So, if psi x is a function of x, y and z, whatever be the value of function, and the commutation must be 0. That means, x p y equals to 0. So, what we have shown that if we want to try, we want to perform the commutation of position and its uh, linear momentum along same axis, then it will give us i h cut, otherwise it will give us 0. Similarly, what we can write for z axis, this is also same. That means, x p z will also gives us 0. Okay? And if we try again y p y, this will gives us i h cut, z p z, this will gives us also i h cut and all other case, the value will be 0. So, from this equation, what we can write that we can generalize that x i p j equals to i h cut delta i j, where I am writing this delta i j equals to Kronecker delta function and this gives us 1 for i equals j and it provides us 0 for i not equals to j. Next, our job is to find what happens if we want to try to perform the commutation relation of position and angular momentum operator. So, let us check. First, x lx. So, what we have shown earlier that lx is, what is lx? lx can be written in quantum operator form that minus i is cut y del del z minus z del del y ok and this can be written as y p z minus z p y. Now, I want to try, try to use uh, try to solve this commutation relation and for this I am just writing this x y p z minus z p y ok. Now, I, I am using um, the commutation relation I have already derived that means commutation relation of position and linear momentum. So, what happens for this? This will gives us y p z minus x of z p y ok. Now, this is a 3 operators that means a b c type which I have shown in the previous lecture which will gives us 
बी ए सी प्लस ए बी सी सो यूजिंग दिस ए बी सी टाइप ऑफ ऑपरेटर आई कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस दैट मीन्स वाई विल बी कम्स आउट फास्ट दिस विल गिव्स अस एक्स पी जेड एंड देन एक्स एंड वाई विल कम्यूट पी जेड विल गोज टू द राइट साइड माइनस इन दिस केस जेड विल कम्स एट द लेफ्ट साइड एक्स एंड पी वाई विल कम्यूट एंड एक्स एंड जेड विल कम्यूट देन एंड पी जेड पी वाई विल गोज टू द राइट साइड सो नाउ एक्स पी जेड इक्वल्स टू जीरो वाई एक्स वाई कम्यू कम्यूट दैट मीन्स दिस इज जीरो एक्स पी वाई इक्वल्स ऑल्सो जीरो एक्स जेड इक्वल्स ऑल्सो जीरो सो दिस ऑल गिव्स अस जीरो ओके सो वॉट वी हैव ऑब्जर्व दैट एक्स एल वाई दिस इज वाई इक्वल्स टू सॉरी एक्स एल एक्स इक्वल्स टू जीरो दैट मीन्स लिनियर पोजिशन एंड एंगुलर मोमेंट नाउ एलॉन्ग सेम एक्सिस कम्यूट इच अदर we we have observed earlier that position and linear momentum having same axis doesn't commute but position and angular momentum along same axis commutes so let's check what happens for position and angular momentum along other axis okay that means i am now performing the commutation relation of x and ly so let's check similarly एल वाई कैन बी रिटर्न एज माइनस आई एच कट जेड डेल डेल एक्स माइनस एक्स डेल डेल जेड दैट मीन्स जेड पी एक्स माइनस एक्स पी जेड नाउ आई एम पुटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ एल वाई इन दिस इक्वेशन दिस विल गिव्स आस एट एक्स जेड पी एक्स माइनस एक्स पी जेड सो दिस विल गिव्स अस एट एक्स जेड पी एक्स माइनस एक्स ऑफ एक्स पी जेड दिस विल गिव्स अस अगेन जेड विल कम्स आउट एट द लेफ्ट साइड एक्स पी एक्स हैव टू कम्यूट एंड एक्स जेड विल कम्यूट पी एक्स विल गोज सॉरी पी एक्स दिस इज पी एक्स विल गोज टू द राइट साइड माइनस एक्स विल गोज टू द लेफ्ट साइड एक्स विल कम्यूट विथ पी जेड एंड एक्स एक्स विल कम्यूट पी जेड विल गोज टू द राइट साइड सो दिस विल गिव सस आई इज कट आई इज कट जेड This will gives us zero. X P J will gives us zero. X X will gives us zero. So this will gives us I H cut J. So we have observed that X operating on L Y will provides I H cut J. Okay. Similarly. what happens if we have try to find out x l z okay now let's check what happens for x l z that means x l z l z can be written as minus i h cut x del del y minus y del del x that means this will gives us sorry this will gives us x py minus y px so 
what happens if I want to try to find out the commutation relation of x and lz lz I am putting the value of lz here x p y minus y p x I am writing this equation x p y plus x x p y minus y x p x minus x y p x this will goes to 0 this will goes to 0 this will goes to i h cut and this will goes to 0 so we have found that minus i h cut y so x l z will provides us minus i h cut y here is some interesting case because in the linear momentum operator we have already shown that uh, what happens only for uh, x and px otherwise y py and z pz um, commutation relation value gives us i h cut all others are zero and but for angular momentum what happens x l x equals to zero x l y equals to i h cut z x l z equals to minus i h cut z sorry y so from this equation we can generalize that x i l j equals to i h cut x k i j k this levis beta this epsilon i j k is called levis beta this will gives us 1 for i not equals to j not equals to k and all are in clockwise rotation and rotates clockwise clockwise that means there is i j k that means i j k other otherwise j k i otherwise k i j this i this i is um, root of uh, square root of minus one and this i is arbitrary number so don't mismatch each other and levis beta equals to minus one for i not equals to j not equals to k and for anti clockwise anti clock and equals to zero if any two are same now let's check what we have said that means i equals to one that means x one that is x and l i j equals to y so x y x l y this will gives us i h cut x k equals to z okay x um, that means i h cut z this is fine and now i am trying to do with l l i equals to 2 j equals to 3 k equals to 1 that means y l z this will come out and gives us y l z similarly i h cut x okay so this is the general equation and this function this this function is called levis beta levis beta just try to understand this term to generalize if you can understand this uh, epsilon i j k or levis beta term it will be easy to you uh, remember all the commutation of position and angular momentum and others also so actually first case observe that i equals to 1 j equals to 2 k equals to 3 and this will be rotates if this rotates clockwise this will gives us 1 and all the value all the all values are uh, different if 
any two values are same that means i uh, i equals to g suppose then what happens then x equals x comma lx and the commutation of x lx will gives us zero similarly commutation of x y loi commutation of gl lz uh, will be zero and if i want to find out the commutation of x loi that means 1 2 this will gives us 3 that means i h cut x3 x3 is the z and levis beta i j k 1 2 3 rotates come clockwise this will gives us plus 1 if what happens if 1 3 and 2 that means x i am dealing with x l z that means x is 1 y is 2 z is 3 so 1 3 1 3 means this is not rotates clockwise okay that means uh, 1 2 3 this is a rotation of clockwise rotation otherwise 1 3 1 3 this will gives us along this direction that means this is anti clockwise direction in this case minus sign arises solid line indicates clockwise and this is for uh, plus 1 and for dotted line this is anti clockwise and value gives us minus 1 that is that is why uh, when we are trying to solve the combination of x lz a minus sign arises okay that means x lz will gives us minus i h cut and 2 that means y okay what happens if we want to try to commute with linear momentum and angular momentum so what happens for px and lx what is px well i can write px equals to minus i h cut del del x or can remain px same and lx can be written as minus i h cut y del del z minus z del del y that means this will give us that y pz minus z py and i am now using this is same as what we have already shown for x and lx so i am writing px and this will gives us y pz minus z py okay i am now expanding it and if you expand you will see that this will gives us zero okay and now what happens if we want to find the uh, commutation of px and loi again loi can be written as z px minus x pz so i am now putting the value of uh, loi in x px z px minus x pz this will gives us i am just uh, right, uh, doing with the doing this computation after a step this will gives us px x pz minus x will comes out px pz this first term will zero px pz commutes perfectly that means px z zero this will again zero and the third term remains that means minus of px we have known that x px equals to i h cut that means px x will provides us minus i h cut that means minus minus will be plus the i h cut pz we have we can write similarly that p i l i am um, it will be better if, if i write this pj lk this will gives us i h cut pk levis beta i z 
sorry j k l okay from the previous concept we can similarly write this this is the most general form of linear momentum and angular momentum over later commutation case that means px ly will gives us i h cut p z that means p x l z will be give will gives us minus i h cut p x because in this case commit uh, i uh, j k l rotates anti clockwise okay now let's see what happens for the commutation relation of uh, lx and y ly that means if we, we want to try to find the commutation relation of angular momentums of different axis then what happens that means i am now trying with lx and ly so we can find this commutation relation by several methods one method is uh, to find to write down first the lx and ly this this will gives us lx equals to y pz minus z py and ly equals to z px minus x pz now you can write the value of lx and ly and try to solve uh, the commutation relation by using the three type of commutator or here we have to deal with four type of commutator that means y p z z p x type of commutation this is quite rigorous and for simplicity i can use some trick so let's check what happens lx and ly i am writing the value of ly only not lx lx remains change and ly equals to gives us y z p x minus x p z this will gives us z will goes to the left side lx and px commutes each other and then lx and z have to commute p x will goes to the outside then x will goes to the left side l x and p z will goes and then l x and x and p z will goes to the right side so first term will gives us zero and third term fourth sorry fourth term will gives us zero what happens for the second term this will gives us minus i h cut y because z l x equals to i h cut y and l x z equals to minus i h cut y and l x p z equals to minus i h cut p y because p z l x equals to i h cut y p y and uh, l x p z will gives us minus i h cut p y sorry i have done a mistake x will be at the left side because you can write the operator right or left if the operator is at right side you have to delete at right and if the operator is at left side you have to delete at left so this will gives us i h cut xpy minus ypx and xpy and minus ypx will gives us lz this is interesting so starting with lx ly will gives us ih cut lz okay so this is the relation and what is the basic common relation that means in general what we can write in general what we can write this is lj lk i h cut l l let me j k l sorry this is this is the commutation relation so what we have already observed that for 
angular momentum operator we can write that when we want to try to commute with lx with x or x or ly even we have to introduce a term levis beta please be careful for this term because this will gives you plus minus and if you uh, understand it well then it will be very easy to deal it and remember it and otherwise it will be create confusion and make some strong result okay whatever now let's check what happens for l plus and l minus what is l plus i have already observed that l plus equals to lx plus i l y and l minus equals to lx minus i l y so i can easily try to commute it this will gives us lx plus i l y lx minus i l y so just a plus b comma c what you deal this is lx comma lx plus i l y comma lx minus i lx comma ly mm, plus i square equals to minus 1 that means plus ly comma ly lx comma lx or ly comma ly gives us 0 and lx comma ly gives us i is cut lz and ly comma lx gives us minus i is cut lz that means i multiplied by minus i will gives us 1 h cut lz plus this will third term will also gives us h cut lz that means this is 2 h cut lz that is what we have learned l plus when commutes with l minus this gives us 2 h cut lz